This is Hans Kirk coming at you with another gear review. This time of the Montbell Thermorap Parker. Here you can see the jacket. It has a nice uh, loose fit. Also because of the stretchy material. This is size uh, medium and I am 175 centimeters high. But I think that you can choose a size maybe a little bit smaller because of the stretchy material and the athletic fit. I have for many years been using the Thermorap jacket. It is almost the same jacket as this, the Thermorap Parker, except for that the Parker have the hood. It's only a weight penalty of 24 grams, so that is one of the reasons why I choose the Parker over the Thermorap jacket. There's a chest pocket for a map, phone, things like that, and it won't get away of the sternum straps. Mont Bell claims that uh, this jacket has 40 grams of insulation made out of three different fibers that are treated in a way so they won't absorb any water. And the fiber should also be able to uh, expand again after being compressed. But when I first got this uh, new jacket, uh, I was uh, a little bit shocked how much more lofty it was compared to my old jacket. One of the reasons for that is that I've been using my old jacket not only for hiking but also for everyday use just because I like it so much. But uh, with, it, with this uh, new Parker jacket I have decided only to use it for hiking trips and being in nature, things like that, uh, just so it will last a little bit longer. And also there are two hand warmer pockets. Inside of the pocket there's a drawstring and when you tighten it you can pull down the jacket and to undo it there's a buckle here. Oh, this is by no means a warm jacket. Actually I'm feeling a little bit cold making this video. But I'm also only wearing a wool t-shirt. But I have a one bell down jacket that I can put over it. Uh, much warmer now, also with the hood on. And it, if it gets even uh, colder, I can put on my Montbell Versalite rain jacket. That should do it. <laughs> the hood is warm and roomy and uh, there's no way to tighten it down here but on the back side there's some velcro that gives a little bit of adjustment possibilities the jacket comes in two other colors than the black in uh, pure indigo and spectrum blue it's uh, not all of the jacket that's made out of stretchy materials. Here in the front there's no stretch, but on the arms and especially Larry, here at the cuffs there's this uh, very elastic material, but also in the back there's this uh, nice stretchy material that makes the jacket really comfortable to wear. One of the things that I find to be really annoying when I'm hiking is uh, when I have to take my backpack on and off 
like in order to regulate my temperature but with this uh, jacket uh, it's not that warm but it's very lightweight uh, it is uh, it's much easier to regulate your temperature you can if you're cold in the morning put on the hood and your hands in the pockets and also uh, the way the material is made it is very breathable not that uh, wind resistant but uh, the chances for that you will overheat and start to sweat in this jacket is not not so likely it comes with its own stuff sack it's really compressible I really like this uh, jacket. I think the only downside with it is the relative short lifespan of the insulation material and maybe the color of the zipper, but that's a smaller detail. That will be all for this uh, gear review. Thanks very much for watching and be sure to hit that subscribe button.